been herself revealed to the public. We're calling on everyone out there across the United States and the world to give the elite what they really want. They're so sick of watching all the bug-eyed slaves buy into Barack Obama and his sweet, happy smile. That's why we're asking folks to visit Infowars.com and to print these flyers off and to plaster them across every town and city in the United States. That's why there's a contest, a thousand dollars, for whoever videotapes these posters being tagged across the country and the world. Whoever puts up the most posters and videotapes or whoever puts them up in the biggest way so the slaves can see what they are and see what Barack Obama and his controllers are doing to them, you'll win the thousand dollars. We all know the thousand dollars isn't what matters. What's fun is laughing right back at these psychopathic bastards and telling them that we know exactly who they are and exactly what they're doing and exactly what's going on in their souls and that we see right through their facade. You know why they call him the Joker? Because it's a big joke to them that they're poisoning your water supply and that your children are deformed and get cancer when they're 10 years old. Because it's a big joke to the New World Order, all the things they're doing to you and how childlike you are and how much fun it is. Ted Bundy talked about how much fun it was picking up teenage girls and torturing them to death and ripping their teeth out with pliers over days as they begged for their lives as he bit big bloody chunks out of their body. You little kids like to go to movies and see some drug addict hippie acting tough and acting scary. The truth is, what's more wicked than that is DynCorp kidnapping millions of women and children and taking them into slavery, and nothing's being done to them. That's what's funny. What's funny and why the Joker is laughing all the way to the bank is because the more they abuse you, the more you enjoy it, just like the Stockholm Syndrome. And so that's why the joke is on you, and that's why it's going to continue going on week after week. Month after month, year after year, the joke's on you. What's scary? Somebody in some clown makeup? Because that can get your attention. That freaks you out at a primitive level. Nightmares out of your subconscious. But you're not afraid of some gentlemanly, middle-aged man who sits there talking with a, in a sweet, calm voice, but tremulating with power and dark gulfs of death. When they write in eco-science, the national science czar's own government policy book, how they're poisoning your water supply, how they'll take all children at birth and raise them in government dormitories and do medical experiments on them, and how they'll bring in total tyranny and put implants in your body to control every facet. You know what's funny? Even though this book's free online at major university websites, you little bastards out there are going to go watch your TV and your movies. And you're going to sit there and laugh at me right now and not check any of it out. <laughs> oh, yes. That's what's so funny about it all. All you men out there who like to wear the trappings of death and destruction and like the violent video games and the ultimate fighting and the culture of the macho and you think death and destruction's cool meanwhile you piss your pants at the sight of a cop you bow and scrape to the government you do whatever you're told and they're laughing legions of jokers in uniforms legions of jokers out there in their fancy costumes that get your attention and you sit there and you submit to them you love it well, we're going to give Barack Obama's controllers what they want. That little narcissistic creature is nothing but a slick Harvard lawyer reading off a teleprompter written by the best speech writers in the country. How to scam you, how to bamboozle you, how to defraud you of your future. And you love it. You cheer him all the way, just like you Republicans cheered George W. Bush. Now, that was a joker that didn't need any makeup. That was somebody whose soul and spirit shined right through to the whole world. And if you watch Barack Obama, he's looking more like the Joker every day. As he becomes angry and as he realizes his fraud isn't working anymore on the people. The fun is leaving his face because he was groomed and set up and readied to simply be the primer to bring in a fascist government in the next administration or the administration after that. 
It was all a mind game. You were meant to learn he was a betrayer. You were meant to learn he was a fraud. You were meant to learn that he was a servant of the new world order. Because the elite are throwing it in your face. But I'll tell you something. The image put up in Southern California by some activists of Barack Obama and his fake, self-assured look in his eyes. He enjoys conning people. He enjoys manipulating people. He enjoys scamming people. He loves the pimp game. He loves defrauding the bitches. He loves slapping them upside the head and having them beg him. Beg him for more. He loves the fact he's betrayed you on saying he wouldn't hire any lobbyists and saying he didn't warrantless wiretapping when he expanded and saying he would end secret arrest and snatch and grab and detention. And now all he's done is expanded it to unlimited snatch and grab and detention. He loves the fact that he's expanded the wars. He loves the fact that he's conned you and that he's winning and dominating you because at a primitive level he enjoys it. But his masters up above him, they're going to enjoy destroying him politically. As Barack Obama, like George W. Bush and Bill Clinton before him, take the blame for the agenda of the elite. So I'm telling all of you out there, let's give them what they want. They like the fact that their true image is being revealed, but we're going to give them more of it than they could ever imagine. All across the United States and the world, people are already visiting Infowars.com and going to the $1,000 Barack Obama prize page and printing off all the free flyers and plastering them all across the United States, all across the world. We're going to give them something to cry about for the change instead of laughing at the way we live. The elite laugh at the troops that serve them and take the deadly vaccines. The elite laugh at them breathing the depleted uranium and coming home and dying. The elite laugh at all these mercenaries that serve them and then are destroyed. The elite laugh at the jail guards they hired to take to Afghanistan and Iraq, who after they were done torturing children and their mothers and fathers, they then convicted the very people that followed orders. That is funny to the elite because the Joker loves burning one group of people more than anybody else. The Joker loves dominating and controlling other criminal groups. It loves building them up and then destroying them, tearing them apart. And so all of you would-be psychopaths and all of you would-be killers out there that think you know evil and think you know that it's beautiful and wonderful. I want you to look out there upon the Joker's thugs, the Joker's men, the Joker's mod squad, his goon squad, his, his, his brown shirts. Look at them out there. They're pathetic, just like the Joker himself is pathetic. And that, my friends, is the reality. All of you that buy into evil, all of you that buy into corruption thinking it's cool to screw somebody else are going to be screwed by somebody bigger and badder and more evil above you. And there's nothing cute and funny about what's happening in this world. And it's run by very dark, very serious, very focused psychopaths. And they laugh in their memoirs. They laugh in their public publications like David Rockefeller four years ago in his autobiography written by him. His memoir, where he says, I want world government. I want to destroy national sovereignty. I'm guilty as charged. And then they laugh and go on the news and tell you there's no such thing. They laugh as the very banks that have stolen $23.7 in the last 10 months in a bipartisan scam sit up there as your financial saviors telling you they need tens of trillions more. Then the Federal Reserve pays the private banks not to loan to you to further destroy the real economy as it's consolidated and put into their hands. And the criminal jokers that run this society, the criminal jokers that control this society in New York and Chicago, taking their big city mob system nationwide and worldwide, love the fact that they've disarmed many of the American people. And in the cities where they've taken the guns, they have the highest crime rates. And then they advertise those high crime rates as a pretext to disarm more of the people in the country so they can be slaves, so the establishment can have their way with them. This is the reality, ladies and gentlemen, because these psychopaths want to have their way with you.